low swear back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair asus tuf 144 hertz display not sure what cpu and gpu it's inside the problem is this laptop is dead but let's check the customer email so the customer is saying asus tuf gaming stop working no lights no power uh, nothing i plug the power supply then nothing okay not too much about the laptop history so we can assume this is a dead laptop i will say let's open and see what it's inside actually we don't have screws if we don't have screws we can open this easily and the laptop it's open yeah that's a nice motherboard so much copper here now let me unplug the battery what we are checking first first we are checking if the main power is shorted that's important we have a bunch of caps you can see here and the caps zero zero huh? so the main power is really shorted same like in the 99 percent of the gaming laptops this is a shield so actually no one took out the, the, the heat sink huh? that's interesting huh now has a hole on it okay so someone took out the heat sink just give me like one minute and uh, let me make some space and the heat sink it's out really love the heat sink check here like you know nice shiny copper and yeah we do have a bunch of quills look how many quills are here I mean, it's nice how they designed the board. They put all the coils, CPU and GPU and VRAM here in the line. Okay, so how we are checking? We need a thermal camera and we are coming with some current on the main power rail. Let me power on the, the thermal camera. Uh, we are lowering the voltage down to like one volt. Yeah, one volt. Some current. good we need a ground and we are coming with a power supply on the main power rail now we don't know which is plus and minus on the capacitors but we are following the voltage so here we have 0.3 volts and here we have uh, 0.3 oh lol okay let's raise the current i'm gonna raise the current so here we have 0 0.3 and here we have 0 0.4. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming here is the plus. Now I'm going to raise the current because the, the voltage drop is too low. Yeah, we have 0 0.6 volts. And the CPU is not getting hot. That's good. That's good. But the GPU seems warm. Huh? Looks warm, the GPU? Let's see the MOSFETs. Check there that MOSFET, check there, huh? So which one it is? Which one it is? Uh, this one, right? Yeah, this one. This MOSFET is gone, this one. It's a GPU MOSFET. Possible the GPU survive. It is possible. The GPU internal resistance is very, very low. Let's remove that MOSFET. That's MOSFET. The laptop should work even without that MOSFET. You know the graphics. Uh, this one, right? Yeah, the number three. Wait, actually it's no MOSFET. It's a DRMOS. Then it's very possible. Uh, no, it's not very possible. No, no, no. Because it's the high side MOSFET. It's shorted. That's the reason why the GPU is getting hot when I'm coming with the voltage on the main power rail. No. But let's see. And the DR MOS, it's out. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Good. So what now? Now, 
we are putting back the heat sink because the laptop uh, it will come on and it will work let me check the main power rail zero ohms how can be zero ohms we removed the mosfet it was that one how can be zero ohms it was this mosfet we check with the thermal camera One ohm. No, 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 no. It's because uh, the area is too hot. That's the reason. Let's check one more time. Zero ohms. I mean, we have to shorten the armos because I'm pretty sure this one was getting hot. You know what? Let me check the recording. So I'm going to stop this video. Let's see. Let's see. Look. We checked together and it was that MOSFET, exactly the MOSFET I removed. <laughs> yeah, pretty strange. And now we can't check with the thermal camera because the board is not hot. I'm going to pull down the board. Okay, let's check again. Let's see. So we have ground and we have plus. And it's taking three amps. And what is getting hot? Yeah, I know the whole area is hot. I know. I know. What is that? Yeah, one second. This one. This one is a freaking capacitor. This one. What is that? No, it's a resistor. It's a resistor, so the system... Um, it will check the output current for the GPU. Hmm. Okay. Let's come with the current here. Not sure what is getting hot. Let me raise the current. Uh, 4.2 amps. What? How that MOSFET can get hot? Check there. It's getting hot exactly the most that I removed. Check there. Do you think I actually burn layers on the motherboard? How can get hot exactly the same MOSFET? I mean, this is like unreal. Here is perfect. I have no burn layers and things. How this can get hot? How this is possible? Uh, you are thinking to what I'm thinking? Hmm? You are thinking, actually... Uh, these MOSFETs are doubled on the other side. So actually, this MOSFET was good, but the dead one, it's one from the other side of the board. So I'm assuming they made like a sandwich, you know, top MOSFET, bottom MOSFET, of course, to increase the power to the GPU. Because otherwise, I cannot, I cannot explain why that 
place is getting hot if I took out the MOSFET. So yeah, that's what I believe. I believe we have another row of MOSFETs on the other side of the board. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the board out quickly. Just give me like a few minutes. Okay, so the board, it's out. Kind of. Let me take out the Wi-Fi card. Yeah. No freaking way. We don't have another row of MOSFETs. Wait a second, because I know what you are thinking. I, I know I know exactly what you are thinking. So you are thinking actually it's a capacitor, and our MOSFET is good, and mistakenly I seen heat on the GPU, so actually, you know, the MOSFET is good, and the GPU was not getting hot, was getting hot only a capacitor. Hmm? I mean, that would be a surprise, but we seen, like, the, the GPU was getting warm. You remember? Let's go under the microscope. I mean, what the hell happened with that capacitor? Check that. One second. I think I figured out what happened. So the board is like that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure because he... You know what? One second. No, no, the capacitor is coming over the over, over the plastic, so uh, didn't touch the keyboard. I believe actually checking this capacitor is pointless, yeah? We can bring, uh, say hello to my little friend. Or, uh, that's kind of rude, right? We have to heat up the board anyway, because I want to solder that MOSFET back to see if it's shorted. So let's remove the capacitor. I mean, this capacitor looks like it has been shorted with something. You can see? Check there. So it's not looking like a regular uh, shorted capacitor. So it looks like something was shorted here. Maybe a screw or something. Possible. Good. Now, if we are checking the main power rail, let's check the main power rail. So, checking the main power rail with ground and it's not short. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me solder back that MOSFET quickly. It is possible to be good. But if the MOSFET is good, means I was wrong. Huh? Usually I'm not wrong, but who knows? Maybe I'm getting older. Okay, so the DRMOS is soldered back in place. Huh? Is shorted or not? That's the question. Let's see. Multimeter. It's not shorted. That's crazy. I was wrong. Lol. Hmm. I can't believe, so actually the problem, it was that dodgy capacitor. That's crazy. This is such a lucky customer. Let me quickly put the board back. But you know what? Let's have a look one more time, because I don't understand how I was wrong. Let's check one more time the video. Let's see, let's see. Indeed, the GPU was getting warm. Okay, that uh, MOSFET place, it was getting hot.
No, actually, I didn't see the GPU being hot. I seen the MOSFET. One second. One second. So I didn't see the GPU getting warm. CPU. Look at the GPU. The GPU is looking warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, somehow I seen the GPU warm. And, uh, yeah, I was wrong. The GPU was not warm. Okay, everything is back in place. We can plug the battery. Uh, the battery is disconnected, so the, to act, reactivate that battery, we need uh, to plug the charger. But we don't need a charger. Actually, we need... Just a little bit of power. Probably the battery is not discharged because this laptop uh, board got shorted. So minus and plus. And check there. Zero. Should start charge. Yeah, check there. 1.4 amps. You can see. 2.8 amps. So right now the battery is discharged. Perfect. Now let's press the power button. Pressing the power button, the laptop is coming on. Check there. You can see the X. Backlight. Uh, we reset. Yeah, and we have picture. We have picture. And it's working fine. The GPU, of course, the GPU is working. It was not a shorted uh, GPU. And MOSFET. No, it was, you know, just a short like, capacitor. Easy pizza? I will say tricky pizza. Yeah, I was nearly ru rule out this uh, board as, you know, a dead uh, GPU. Now, the lessons to learn from here, because i seen a lot. Like laptops, they've been, like gaming laptops, they've been in a computer shop, yeah? They check the main power rail, maybe they check with the thermal camera, they see in short at MOSFET and they don't take the MOSFET out. I'm always removing the short. Even, even if I'm not charging money, you know, how much it will cost to remove the short from the board? And uh, just removing the short from the board, you know, it doesn't matter if it's on the CPU and the CPU is already dead. You give back the customer a laptop with his charging, it's coming on with no picture. I mean, you know, you just show the customer you did something. But just, you know, removing the short, you can have a surprise like in a case like this. Yeah, I seen the MOSFET is hot. So probably many, it will put all back together. Okay, this is that. But yeah, it was not the case. It was the capacitor uh, from the other side of the board. And on the same way, the capacitor could be like here on the CPU. And you see the CPU, you see the, you know, the most getting hot, you know, it's a dead CPU. Yeah, I'm really happy I helped the customer. I will um, say uh, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.